2,120 of what you have to know. Sharon Hornellstrom. Take two on this video as well as another one of my videos today. I do only a couple videos every morning when I have to do them each twice. Super duper frustrating. So I'm thinking about conspiracy theories and maybe it's because I've started with the cross in each of these. Each one it says trying to reconnect and it debunkies my face. And maybe because I say cross in my title, it's it's glitching out or something, but uh, yesterday I had a challenge with one of my videos too, and I had to do it twice. This time, I'm not even turning on my lights because I'm so, I'm so overdoing them today when I usually spend, you know, 20 minutes to a half an hour, maybe an hour making content in the morning, and it takes me two. It's like, oh, I got other commitments. I have things I have to do, but I love this silver cross. I think it's beautiful. I'm not a big cross fan uh, for personal reasons, probably because I had a death experience when I was uh, 50 years old and so I have a whole different perspective on life and death and the whole thing uh, which is which is mine we each get to have our own thoughts feelings beliefs about certain things that we've experienced or even that we haven't experienced we all get to have those and I have mine uh, but our idiom for today for supersize your business was cross to bear and of course means that something is hard and it's our responsibility well most people would describe building and growing and supersizing a business or creating our own lives as a challenge or hard but I say we get to decide what kind of a mindset, what perspective we're going to bring to our life and to our different experiences. If we think it's going to be hard, guess what? It's going to be hard, right? Remember Henry Ford, if you think you can, you think you can't, either way, you're right. If you think it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard for you. If you think it's going to be easy or a breeze or an adventure or fun, it's why we talk about uh, how do we define our life? How do we define things? That's why we talk about idioms every day and supersize your business. It's to remind us that we get the privilege. It's not a burden to define things for ourselves. It's a right. It's like freedom. With freedom comes responsibility. With uh, control and our own ability to determine the way we want our lives to go, that is responsibility. Responsibility isn't a negative thing. Responsibility is an awesome thing, right? At least in my opinion. At least that's how I choose to look at it. Guess what? We get to decide how we want to choose to look at anything and everything in our lives. So get your goals annual challenge today. We're focusing on and summarizing and auditing our spiritual area and aspect of our life. Yesterday we did emotional. We're doing all nine areas and aspects of our life. I use a nine part life framework to take some of the craziness and chaos and hardness out of how I structure my life. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships. Contribution was seven parts. Learned that from Tony Robbins and Jim Rohn back in the many, many decades ago. And then in 2021, following the pandemic, I was getting some coaching in communication, some core value skills. So communication and confidence. And I'm like, well, why wouldn't I add those to my life framework? So they are an integral part of my life framework. Why? Because everything on the life framework interacts with everything else. Kind of like this in a, in a web of interconnections. So we talked about that today. That's it. I'm going to keep it super short today since I'm... I'm tired of talking. I can't believe I'm saying I'm tired of talking. Usually I like to talk a lot. But uh, if I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day. If this video does not work, I'm not going to do it a third time. Third time is not charmed, in my opinion. It's just extra rework. And being a quality professional for decades in corporate America, big, small, privately held companies, really cool companies. Uh, I learned that I don't like rework. Rework means I didn't do it right the first time. And so we're always looking for ways to reduce things and making sure that we get the result that we want the first time. But if we have to redo it, we have to redo it. And so it is what it is. Boy, full of, of trite comments today. Have a great day. If I can help you anyway, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye. Hopefully on take one.